Welcome to Brayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this uh, right triangle ABC, and inside this right triangle ABC is a semicircle and center at O. And this uh, semicircle is tangent to the hypotenuse AB at point E. And the uh, distance from the topmost point of the diameter of the semicircle from the top of the right triangle is 1 and the uh, uh, one the longer leg of this uh, right triangle is 12 units and we are required to find the area of the semicircle okay so to find the area of the semicircle we need to get the radius so we can actually label this uh, radius as r okay so this is R also. And uh, okay, so next is uh, we draw a line from E to O. Okay. So since uh, this is this is at point E is a point of tangency, then uh, this should be 90 degrees. Okay. Okay, so next is we compare this uh, triangle uh, A E O, this triangle versus this triangle ABC. Okay, so notice that they have this common angle at A. So, we can call this as alpha. And since this AOE is a right triangle, then it should have a complement, and we call that beta. So, beta. So, that is for the smaller uh, right triangle. And for this uh, uh, right triangle ABC, since one angle is alpha already at A, so this angle here should be the complement. So we decided the complement to be beta. And uh, we therefore uh, see that these uh, two triangles are actually uh, similar because they have actually uh, two, I mean, the three, uh, three pairs of right triangles, alpha, beta, and the right angle to be uh, congruent so they these two triangles are actually similar okay so uh, next is we label this ae as uh, x so this is x and this uh, the length of uh, eb since at point e this is a point of tangency so and same with the point at c the right angle of this uh, biggest uh, right triangle in the figure so they since they uh, have this exterior point at b so this eb this length eb should be also 12 units and of course uh, we need to label this uh, side of aoe this oe segment oe as a uh, r also because this is the radius of this uh, blue semicircle to the point of tangency at e from the center o Okay, so that is R. Okay, so first is we consider this uh, small triangle AFO. So let's write AFO. So this is actually a right triangle as we have said earlier. So the longer leg, we can actually make an equation by Pythagorean theorem. So uh, R's, the, the shorter leg or the longer leg is R. So we have r square plus uh, the shorter leg is x square. So ax square plus is equal to, I mean, the hypotenuse, which is uh, this length r plus 1. So r plus 1. So r plus 1 squared. So r square plus x square. We just copy this and we simplify the right hand side. So we have here uh, squaring a binomial r square plus uh, 2r. Plus 1. So we cancel this uh, r square on both sides. So x square is equal to 2r plus 1. So let this be our first equation. Okay, so next is we consider this uh, largest triangle, the whole triangle ABC. So ABC. So for ABC, uh, one leg is uh, this the height so 
this is that is the length of this semicircle plus the, I mean the diameter of the semicircle 2r plus 1 so that is the leg so this is uh, this is the leg 2r plus this one so that is the leg of the uh, largest uh, right triangle so simply we write a 2r plus 1 squared then plus this uh, this other leg is bc which is a 12 uh, square is equal to this uh, hypotenuse which is as you can see x plus this length 12 so x plus 12 squared okay so earlier we got from our uh, uh, first equation that x squared is equal to 2r plus 1 so we just need to replace this 2r plus 1 with x squared and still squared plus 144 is equal to this uh, cube i mean square of this binomial so we have x squared plus uh, 24x plus uh, 144 and we cancel this uh, 144 and this is x to the fourth is equal to x squared plus 24x and notice that they have all x in the term so in the, the three terms so we can simply multiply this by 1 over x so we have x cubed is equal to x plus uh, 24 and we can put this uh, x and 24 to the left hand side so we have x cubed minus uh, x minus 24 is equal to 0 and next is we just need to solve this uh, resulting cubic equation okay so notice that we have this uh, cubic equation x cubed minus x minus 24 is equal to zero notice that it has no second degree term so for this type of cubic equation uh, what we need to do is we need to get the factors of this uh, 24 so 1 24 and 2 12 and 3 8 and 4 6 okay so next is we test this uh, four uh, factors so so all of them have the product of 24 so that is the first criteria so the next criteria is that if we square the one term for the for each of these then we the if we square the for the for one term and add the second or subtract then the algebraic uh, sum should be negative one in our case so negative one because negative one is here okay so uh for example this is one one square so 24 the the difference could never be negative one because it is 23 and for this 2 and 12 so 2 square that is 4 2 square and 12 so 12 minus 4 is uh, 8 so it's not yet fit so next is this uh, 3 and 8 so 3 square is 9 3 square is 9 and this uh, is 8 the other is 8 so if that is 9 so 9 and 8 okay so notice that it is a there could be a i mean their difference could be a negative negative one so, okay so this is the one that we are looking for we squared the first the three and the algebraic sum could be this uh negative one okay okay so why do we need this uh, negative, I mean the 9 and 8? So, this is the way that we should divide this, uh, I mean to rewrite this uh, negative x into two parts. So, we need to separate it. Okay, so x uh, cubed 
minus uh, 9x okay plus 8x and minus uh, 24 is equal to 0. Notice that uh, we did not change anything on the original equation. We just rewrite this uh, negative x as negative 9 and uh, 8x. Negative 9x and 8x. And notice that I have uh, uh, root this negative 9 to this uh, x cubed because of this uh, 9 being the square. Okay. So, and because of that, Notice that they have, if you group them, they have both x. So, we can factor out the x and the uh, x squared minus uh, 9 remains inside plus this 8 times uh, x minus 3 is equal to 0. Notice that uh, we can further factor out this x squared minus 9. Uh, by x square, I mean x plus 3 and x minus 3. And note that since it has x minus 3, this has also x minus 3 on this 8 times x minus 3. So we write this as x times uh, x minus 3 times uh, x plus 3 and plus uh, 8 times uh, x minus 3 equal to 0. Okay. So, notice that we can factor out this x minus 3 because it is common to the two terms. So, x minus 3 uh, times this uh, x times x plus 3 plus 8. Okay. It's equal to 0. And we simply simplify this inside of the bracket. So, x minus 3 times uh, x squared plus 3x plus uh, 8. Notice that we have two factors, one quadratic and one linear. So, one is uh, x minus 3 is equal to 0, and this is, the other is x squared plus 3x plus 8 is equal to 0. So, for the first is, we have x is equal to 3. And for the other is a quadratic equation. So, but if we test this uh, b square minus 4ac. So, b square is 3 square minus 4 times 1 times c, 8. So, 9 minus uh, 32. So, we have here a 23 negative. So, if you get the square root of that. so the square root of the discriminant so you will just end up with a an answer with an imaginary uh, imaginary root so since the distance should never be imaginary so this we cannot get this so this should be an invalid uh, solution to the i mean solution to the problem as a triangle but this is actually a solution to the cubic equation. But in terms of the triangle, it is not. Because it will be a non-real uh, length. So we, we will just need to get this uh, 3 for the value of x as the length of this AE. So x is 3. Okay, so going back to the first equation, x squared is equal to 2r plus 1. Now that we have the value of x as 3, as we got a while ago, so we just simply uh, replace this x with 3. So this is 3 squared is equal to 2r plus 1. Okay, so 2r is equal to, we just need to put this uh, 1 to the left hand side. And it will become 3 squared minus 1. So 2r is equal to 9 minus 1. 2r is equal to 8. And if we divide both sides by 2, we have here r is equal to 4 units. 
Okay, so now for the final step, since uh, we already have the radius of the semicircle, so it is now easy to find the area of the semicircle. So let's call this area SC uh, equal to pi over 2. Since this is a, we are talking about a semicircle, so and pi over 2 times r square. So area semicircle is equal to pi over 2 times. Uh, R square is 4 square. So 4 square is 16. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. So area semicircle is equal to 8 pi square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.